Hi guys, it's Third Inspector here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at ASIC miners and whether it's a good investment to buy them right now. Obviously, with the Ethereum merge coming in, we don't really know what the state of GPU mining will be in the future. But we can take a look at these ASIC miners and see if they are worthwhile to start buying them right now in terms of ASIC mining in the future if GPU mining does go out the window for any reason. You know, there's no coins that can actually be mined or just the fact that ASIC miners might be taken over the industry. So on this website page, we have a list of basically every ASIC miner that you can buy on the market. There are some left out, but these are the main ones that you can basically generally buy off the main websites. Obviously at the top we have uh, Bitcoin miners for Antminer T19 Hydro. This is not released yet, but it's coming out in October. And this is a cooling system where it's basically cooled by Hydro. Some people do immersion cool their Bitmain Antminers, but that's kind of a different thing to Hydro cooling. Obviously this takes a lot of power and it says the profitability is very low by here. It takes 5,451 watts to power one of these or 5,438 depending on which one you buy, depending on the terahash. But the main thing that you get from these is that the noise on the actual ASIC miners are lower when compared to the 75 decibels of like basically any other, any other miner on the list. So you get 40 decibels which is kind of the noise range of a GPU at like kind of full fan speed. But the difference from 40 decibels to 75 decibels is a lot when compared to just having one in a room where you can constantly hear a hum to so having, you know, one of these hydro cooled ones where it doesn't make that much noise. So these aren't released yet, so we can't really talk about the price and whether or not to buy them. But in looking at the profitability per day, the power consumption is way too high on these to even consider buying them right now because of electricity prices and the fact that if we look at the Bitmain Antminer S19 XP, the power for those is 3,010 watts. When compared to the 5,451 at the top here, you know, you're kind of getting double the power for, you know, the same amount of hash rate. It's only 18 terahash higher. So there's not really much trade-off between the power consumption and the hash rate when it comes to buying one of these. Obviously, if you don't want it to be noisy, and you can afford to do that in your electricity bill, I'd go for one of these Hydro ASICs when they come out. Now let's move on to the Bitmain Antminer E9. So this has just been released literally about a week ago, something like that. And a lot of companies, big Bitcoin mining farms have got it. It says that the profitability per day is $51 per day by here. And the electricity cost is assuming, you know, uh, $5.53 per day, it says by there. If we scroll down, we can see that the price of these is around $11,000, $12,000. You know, that's a good range, um, so around £10,000 if you're in the UK. And the ROI is pretty good on them for the terms of, you know, other ASICs have ROIs of around 600 days or even 1,000 days. So the ROI amount of days on this is really good. But the only problem is that the Ethereum merge is coming in. So it says seven to six months. We're looking at the Ethereum merge to come in in around three months. So if you bought one of these E9 miners right now, you probably wouldn't make your money back. Well, depending on the Ethereum price, you'd probably make around half of your money back because of the four months that we've got until the merge. And then if you want to switch it over to Ethereum Classic, I believe that these are going to be able to work on the Ethereum Classic network. That's what they advertised as. So the ROI is looking kind of good right now but not enough for me to buy it because it's not a stable network and we know that the Ethereum merge is coming in and we don't know what Ethereum Classic will do in terms of price when it comes to the switch of the hash rate. So if you want to buy an E9, I say, you know, look at it into the future. Are you going to be using it for strictly Ethereum to try ROI before that? Or are you putting your, you know, timeline into like a two year timeline? where you can ROI through Ethereum Classic after the merge happens. Let's move on to the Bitmain Antminer S19 XP. Obviously these have been great, the S19s. They've kind of been the staple for Bitcoin mining for the last two years or whatever. And these are great in terms of power to uh, terahash ratio or hash rate ratio, but the prices are still very, very high on these. And they have come down from around $40,000 per ASIC miner to around $10,000 and the ROI is still very very high on these. 
as we can see here we're looking at 1735 days at the least which is 57.8 months so that is a around five years i believe something like that but obviously the price of bitcoin right now is in the dirt so there's a kind of trade-off if you want to buy it now thinking that the bitcoin price will go up in the next couple of months or years then you know you could weigh out those options and see if you think the price of bitcoin will go up or not obviously 9000 is actually a good price because they were originally trading at around forty thousand dollars per asic miner back around i want to say eight months ago when i first looked at asic mining so 9000 is a good price if you are thinking in the long term and you're kind of in on bitcoin for the next 10 years so i'm going to skip these two other miners the watts miners and we're going to go over to the Kadena miners now this is one that i've been really looking at to buy obviously right now Kadena is kind of in the dirt if we look at the price right now it's around you know one dollar sitting around one dollar fifty but if we look at the three months chart it was previously at five dollars fifty around three months ago and then if we look at the all-time chart obviously they had the spike back in 2021 of 24 dollars per coin so Kadena mining is good if you were in it at that time but right now the rois aren't really adding up too much and the hash rate is still continuing to go up over a three month period right now so at the start of uh, april well at the end of april they had a 90 peta hash i believe that is at current time they have 118 so it's slowly rising even though the price of Kadena is going down obviously many people are still bullish on Kadena because it's a very good coin and we can see this throughout the hash rate chart now if we click on this Kadena miner the B-Link K1 Max we can see that they're making around $20 a day in profit which is pretty good but when we look at the ROI it's still pretty low when compared to the E9 for the Ant Miner on Ethereum. Right now the prices are around $12,000, $13,000 but they do range up. I believe there's one on Fast Miners for around $9,000 which is a pretty good price and the ROI for that would probably be definitely lower around 400 days. But right now we're looking at ROIs around 600 to 700 days which is around you know two years, three years depending on where you buy the ASIC Miner from. I like Kadena miners and I've been trying to get an ASIC but I don't really think that the price is matching the price of the coin right now so the price of the ASIC miner is not matching the price of the coin and they need to come down further like we've seen with Bitcoin dropping from 40,000 down to 10,000. You know I want to see an ASIC miner for Kadena around 7,000 because that would say a good ROI of around 300 days so a year and that's basically the sweet spot anything under a year you know you can deal with anything over a year it's kind of getting into that territory of will you ever make your money back but if you're long on Kadena then obviously now's a good time to buy the prices are low but I think they still might drop a bit lower and the last thing I want to go over is the iPolo V1 Classic or basically any of these like iPolo V1s uh, the minis or the Classic Pluses if we just click on this this is obviously for Ethereum Classic so the price of Ethereum Classic has skyrocketed in the last you know, couple of days. It's gone from $14 to around $22 a coin, which is not unheard of for Ethereum Classic. It's been at you know, $100 at times. If we take a look at all, we can see like the high of 2021, it was around $120, I think. And then if we hit the seven day chart, we can see that it had this massive price hike in the last uh, two days or something like that. And it's gone from, you know, it's gone up $5 in a coin. This might be because of the Ethereum merge or because of more miners joining the network and stuff like that. So Ethereum Classic is one that I'm looking to buy into as well for ASIC mining. I'm not going to be GPU mining it after the merge. Obviously ASICs are the future of Ethereum Classic in terms of mining. So I think an Ethereum Classic ASIC would be good. If we look at the hash rate chart, that has gone down severely which is kind of not in tune with the price hike. So it leads me to believe that something else is causing this price rise instead of the actual hash rate chart. You know, because normally when we see a higher hash rate on a network, the price of a coin tends to go up. Now, what's really good about this is the ROIs on these. We know Ethereum Classic is going to be around for the next however many years, 
and we know that the hash rate migration will probably take a lot of ASICs onto the network onto Ethereum Classic. So the price of these right now is $7,000 to around $8,000 and this gives us an ROI of around a year which is what we're looking for. Obviously this one's used right here at 7000 and that ROI is in around you know 10 months so depending on where you get it from it might be good or bad. Now I still think that the price of these Ethereum Classic miners still could go down a little bit more because of the you know Ethereum merge and what they're going to be doing with that but they won't go down too much I reckon they'll get to around you know 6500 per miner depending on if it's used or in stock. So if you can, I would wait, just hold off a little bit more before you buy one of these. But I think it's a good investment because Ethereum Classic will be, you know, the second biggest coin to mine in terms of like the mine in space, in terms of, you know, Ethereum moving to proof of stake. So we'll have to go to a different coin to mine and this will probably be Ethereum Classic in terms of ASIC mining. So that's basically what I wanted to go over, you know, if it's good to buy an ASIC miner. I'll just give you a rundown. I think that the Bitcoin miners are kind of in the dirt right now. I don't think you should touch any of them. The E9 from Bitmain I think is a good investment if it can do a lot on Ethereum Classic. If it can kind of hold the same hash rate on the Ethereum Classic network then I think it's a good buy because of the ROI is really low. So you could get around 4 months of Ethereum mining in and then it could switch over to Ethereum Classic. I obviously think the Ethereum Classic miners like the iPolo are good as well because of the ROI that we can see here. And obviously Kadena is very good as well. I think the prices for Kadena and Ethereum Classic should be dropped a little lower, but we'll have to see how the market works out in terms of price of the coin and stuff like that. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll leave links to everything that I've discussed in the description below.